Yeah, it's not so much that things disappear into nothing, it's just that they morph into something different. Um, you know, something older, wiser, or stupider. Um, <laughs> something, something maybe a little bit more broken or a little bit more um, complicated. something that um, I've sort of only realized lately is, is at the heart of a lot of my, my poetry anyway, this idea of place and, and space and the stories that inhabit them and the, um, I guess the way people make their own sense of meaning and, and of belonging um, in any space, the way spaces can be encoded with personal histories and as well as, you know, very public histories. Um, yeah, that, that's something that I think is really powerful and potent and exciting. But um, also that the, the nostalgia that is very much a part of anything that, that disappears or anything that comes and goes. Um, I think nostalgia is just such, such, um, well, it's the stuff of poetry, really. Um, <laughs> so much that, that it's at the heart of, of so much of what's written, I, I think. So I, I just got very excited by the theme. Um, and, and the app is cool. <laughs> I liked the the idea of the geolocation and the way that you can pin the poems where they belong. Um, so there's there's this less need to bring in kind of background information because it's it's, it's there and it's a part of it. Um, and I, I really love the idea of being able to walk around and find find those hidden stories in any spaces. Um, I had a really lovely experience when I was first playing with the app that I found another poet who lives on my street just because there was a, a poem pinned to my street um, that I hadn't written. <laughs> it turns out he was just across the road and he used to be a poet, now he's a landscape gardener um, but thought he'd get involved anyway. And it was just one of those really lovely uh, moments of connection that I don't think I would have discovered anyway. Yeah, well, for starters, I don't think the book's going anywhere. I think technology is, is providing us with different ways of reading and different platforms of reading, but it's not going to supersede the book. It's, get, it's an adjunct, rather, or, or an augmentation, rather than a, a replacement, especially for poetry, because the technology around um, you know, poetry and e-books is still so bizarrely unworkable. Um, <laughs> it's, one, it's one of those great things. That it's, such, it's such a small technological thing, that idea of line breaks and space breaks, but it's where the technology breaks down. Something so simple um, completely ruins the system and, and I, I kind of, I like the way that poetry messes with the, yeah, with yeah. the technological system somehow just, just because it's not regular um, and it doesn't work with the rules. Um, there's something beautiful in that. But, um, you know, I think, I think for every change I'm quite, I'm quite positive about technology and, and its, and its impact on our, on our lives. That it, yes, it changes and it changes rapidly, but it's, it's powerful and um, there's something really exciting about, about those changes and the new things that are made possible at, at every, every step of the way. Keeps people on their toes, keeps them adapting. My poem is, is about an astronomer's tower. Um, which, amazingly enough, is, is a part of a school, um, All Saints Grammar. And I was really struck by the idea when we, when we climbed up there, could, could see out over the whole of the city, how, how different that must have been when the city wasn't there yet, um, when it was just this little farm in the middle of nowhere, how different the sky must have looked before there was all the, all the light pollution. Um, it was, it was, I've, I've never seen a tower like that in this city. It's, yeah, it's quite amazing. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it's important to introduce students to poetry because it's, it gives them such a powerful way of looking at, at the world and looking at the world differently and slightly aslant. I, um, there's this wonderful quote that I always forget who it's by about poetry just being the art of looking differently. Um, so that there's sort of two parts to that. The first thing is to, to be able to look underneath all of the kind of surface stuff and all the things that you're, that you're told or you take for granted and, and bringing out things that are special or unusual or different in, in the everyday. But, but the second part of that is 
to be able to honour your own point of view and your own perspective and your own difference in looking at things and I think that's particularly important for students um, as a part of finding their own voice and being true to their own voice um, and being, being able to kind of speak openly and honestly about who they are and what matters to them. I think poetry is, is wonderful for that.